Tonight we're going to do something a little bit different. I've got a 300 disc Sony CD changer. We have two faults with this. I'm going to show you one fault in this video. The second fault, it is going to be a Patreon only release. I know I've talked about this before, but I need to get my Patreon membership up big time because YouTube is just not cutting it. So there's going to be a lot of future releases which are Patreon only. And I'll give you a teaser, but when we've got multiple problems, I'll show you one of the faults in the free video. But if you want to see the big fix, you're going to have to be a subscriber. This unit has a loading problem. It will not load the disc correctly. It also has a skipping problem. And we're going to address one of those two faults in this shorter version of the video. So here's the here's the 300 disc changer. We move the top off it here and I'll load a disc and we'll take a look at the initial observation. So here's loading this thing up. Hmm. It was like the CV got stuck there. We'll try ejecting that and uh, loading it again. It's not grabbing the disc correctly. Let's get a closer look at that mechanism. Okay, watch this. It's, it's got a couple things wrong with this thing, but watch what happens here. Oh, I gotta turn this a bit so you guys can see the mechanism a bit better. Okay, we're gonna watch when it loads. There's a little plastic arm that is sticking. Watch. This little arm that holds the disc in place until it claps is getting stuck. And that's stopping the disc from turning. That's one of the problems here. We have a sticking arm. The complaint is that it skips forward in time too, so let's just let it play here and see if it does... Ah! It just started over again. What happened there? So we have a reading problem too. Like the laser is not moving. Okay, that's the unit itself that's restarting. I'm not doing anything. It's just, it's starting over and over again. So that's the second fault. And the second fault is the one that we are going to cover on the Patreon only release. So I'm going to show you in this video what's causing that arm to stick. Definitely we have a problem with this thing. It is skipping. Let's get a close look at what's happening here. So what the problem is, is some plastic is worn on this clamp and it's allowing the clamp to move slightly to the right and it is now binding up against the disc. So uh, I think probably the easiest way to solve this problem is I'm going to use my scalpel and I'm just going to um, reshape the groove, the V groove that the disc fits in just to give it a little bit more clearance. So I'm just going to shape this down ever so slightly. Take a, just a little bit off of this because it's just ever so slightly touching the edge of the disc and that's what's causing the disc to jam. Okay, we'll open this up, put a disc back in it and we'll see now, is it going to jam?
and it's not. And that's all it was. Was it was just touching the disc enough that it was preventing that clip from dropping. That little lever is what is used to center the disc when it's putting the disc back into the magazine. It holds the disc in place until the clamp grabs it. Right from the time the uh, from the time the little the little arm that grabs the disc there the little plastic arm and it releases it first before the disc clamp clamps it in place and that little arm that little V groove just holds the disc in place so the disc doesn't fall out of place until the clamp the main clamp clamps it and then when you hit eject it pops up first to support the disc until the other clamp clamps it to put it back I know this is kind of a teaser because I'm showing you guys this fix for the little arm that's jamming but if you want to see the fix for why the disc is why the disc was skipping then uh, you'll need to watch the other version that I'm going to post separately